To start with the pretzels and beer to use bread, I'm going to add one and a half cups of water in a medium mixing bowl, then one packet of active yeast. If it looks like that I added more to the recipe, then what I'm saying is because I doubled up the original recipe for 12 pretzels instead of 6. Then I added 4 cups of all-purpose flour, then 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 tablespoon of sugar, and began whisking it together until it wasn't sticky. While you're mixing, you want to slowly add in all the cups of flour one at a time. Afterward, I need the dough to cook for five minutes and create a couple of ropes with the dough. I created the circles, then twisted the ends, then pressed down to create the signature pretzel shape. You can always add flavoring to the pretzels if you'd like. I did with my second batch of pretzels, but not with the ones I filmed. I added one large egg, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and one tablespoon of McGormick Grill made molasses and bacon and mixed in a bowl. And then put a light coat of the mix over the pretzels before putting them in an oven. In my personal opinion, it tastes much better with the coat. I set the oven to bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 minutes, and then another 5 minutes at broil. After my pretzels were done baking, in a pan at low heat, I added half a cup of Sierra Nevada for a stronger flavor, but you could always add, use Miller Lite for a lighter flavor. Then I added half a cup of sharp cheddar, followed by half a cup of smoked Gouda. Then I added two tablespoons of sour cream, and then one-fourth a teaspoon of ground mustard, and finally, one-fourth a teaspoon of paprika. You could always add more paprika if you want a spicier taste. I didn't film what it looked like at the end, but this is what it's supposed to turn out. Mine looks similar, but not presented as nicely as this picture. 